Hey Scorpio, what's going on? Hope you're all doing well. I am back. Yes, I am finally back. <laughs> in the state of New Jersey, we're in phase one of recovering from the pandemic. So I'm really happy, <coughs> excuse me, and excited to be back in here for all of you. Um, welcome to my channel. This is Jen, catching you on DTWJ Life. I hope you're all well and safe. I really do. Seriously, we're doing good here. Not bad. <laughs> So far as I know, nobody in this household had uh, caught COVID-19, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, although I'm still going to get an antibody test <clears throat> just to make sure that everything's fine. Anywho, what do you call it? It is Gemini season. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And I'm also back to doing personal readings for all of you. They're actually going to be discounted up until uh, the end of December. I am actually stretching that out more because I understand that everybody's going through a rough time, <coughs> and uh, I don't want to be greedy. I still want to be here and able to serve all of you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again. Um, anywho, coming up at the bottom of the deck for Gemini season, we have Virgin and Receptivity Upright. It's coming in twofold. Now that, um, now that you've cleared a lot of blockages or roadblocks even, roadblocks are much worse than blockages, by the way. <laughs> if you've cleared any of those, congratulations, because that's coming up. Also, you have Ascension conjuncting Neptune here, which means that you are rising to the occasion of following your dreams or making your dreams come true. Either, um, either way that you do that, you're working on manifestation. This says, uh, I'm shame and I'm boldness, I'm shameless and I'm ashamed. Well, that doesn't exactly apply to you, though. <clears throat> that's in the past. That's what was blocking you. But that's over now. Oof. I also have really bad allergies, so please <laughs> try to excuse me. Okay, we're looking at recent past here. We are, most definitely. A lot of you have been holding on to your faith. Okay. I have forest inverted, Pope and belief upright, avalanche inverted, and oasis upright. Normally avalanche <clears throat> is a money card because it's an earth card, but it can also mean things that uh, are either cultivated, manifest uh, manifested, or had come to fruition in some way, shape, or form. Forest inverted. You were definitely in a place while you were being blocked or having a roadblock. You were in a place to where um, things were not coming full circle, pragmatically, monetarily. And um, you were feeling down and out about it. You also were lacking quite a bit of passion um, <clears throat> because you started to feel desperate. And I understand that. I've, I've been there. I get that. Um, it's, it's never a good thing when you go without money. Um, or the things, or the material things that you need, and once you, you start to go through that, you start to feel a little bit ravenous, you know, like you're starving, so you get desperate. Some of you were going through that, but you held on to your faith, and quite strongly, that had been your internal and external compass, and it helped you to expand spiritually uh, and or energetically. Some of you have been building on your aura, actually, just by following your path spiritually and doing the work that you have been doing there. <clears throat> it's like your aura has been expanding. So it's like you have a wider radius of protection around you. It's actually quite beautiful, and because of that, you have avalanche inverted. Nothing had come through, whatever that is, that you were worried about, COVID-19 or not. Um, despite going through desperate times, whatever thought you thought was going to hit you did not. And following that up, you have Oasis Upright coming in sixfold. Spirit have been here guiding you and have been with you the entire time. You were not alone. A lot of you, um... I have to say, for those of you who are uh, metaphysical practitioners, you're becoming mediums now. 
you're not just, you know, psychic and intuitive. You're actually becoming mediums. You're able to um, become a conduit <clears throat> for spirits to speak through. So you are becoming a medium. Congratulations on that. At the bottom of the deck again. Perfect. Mother of Air, upright. Not only are you crossing over from being blocked to unblocked, you're also becoming more of a synergy and not just an energy. That explains why your uh, aura is expanding. The radius of it is expanding <clears throat> and better able to protect you. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Uh, we're looking at other people here. Um, that spirit had um, been removing. That your divine guides have been removing. Because right now, because um, things are unblocked for you, and you're unblocking yourself energetically and otherwise, you are now a seed in the earth. The earth is cleansing you while you're kind of in a, a little dark room. You're healing in that dark room. And because of that, you're able to begin to grow. That's beautiful. You're letting go of <clears throat> over-sacrificing for people. Um... You might be cutting some people off who you've um, sacrificed quite a bit for because it's been a very unfulfilling experience, perhaps a one-sided type of relationship. You've been cut, you cut that off. That's pretty much done now. Whoever that was, be it one person or many people or a few people, they lacked ambition and were quite unvictorious in trying to use you for everything that you have. The Victory Ambition card says, I'm compassionate and I'm cruel. I'm the one who's praised and the one despised. To you, it doesn't really matter what people think or feel about you, especially those who are one-sided and that have been using you, that you've been cutting off. Right now, you're standing in your own power. That's what I see here. And it kind of thrown them off. It turned their world upside down. But you're fine. You're just sitting there chilling like, okay, I got myself back. I don't have to worry about this anymore. I don't have to worry about overgiving to people who don't give back. I don't have to worry about anyone using me anymore. Because I'm in a better place now. I am the seed. I'm within the earth being healed and restored into a synergy. And from that point forth, I can grow. However, everything that is going on is negotiable. Daughter of, daughter of fire upright. It is negotiable. It is up to you to take action on your dharma in the direction in which it is going. Is it going to stay healthy, or are you going to continue to allow people to use you? You have two choices. <clears throat> everything is always up for negotiation. You have uh, the moon within fire. Yeah. So you may be the best at whatever it is you do for a living, but in your personal life, you had just undergone an unblocking. And now you have two choices. Do I allow these people back in, or do I allow more people like them in? Or do I keep moving forward as the seed that I am and grow the way that... The divine intends to have me grow. That's up to you and how much faith that you have in that. Very interesting. Fruits upright coming in threefold. We're looking at compassion. Whatever it is, whatever it is to come it is going to come to fruition no matter what decision you make.
I love it. You got the cancer card. Yeah, you do. Okay. Whew. Three spirit cards and one fire. This is a general reading, okay? Empress upright and mother. You're going to rise to the occasion of doing much more on a spiritual level. Whether you provide spiritual services to people or you do, uh, you, you practice differently. Um, you're going to be doing that. The chariot awaits. All you have to do is grab the keys, put them in the ignition, and go. Whenever you're ready. Whatever that means to you. That's interesting. Keep uh, in mind that Pluto is retrograding up until October. <sighs> Yikes. That might throw you off a little bit. Because even though you had cut off people who had done nothing but use you, you might be greeted by other people who are not only going to use you, but are so much better at hiding it and charming you. Use your intuition again. Also, your new gift as a medium. Become a conduit. And allow your loved ones and those that you trust to come through you and work through you while you're facing these people. Because they're not going to change. They're not. They're not going to change at all. They're always going to be that way. <sighs> Some of you might be meeting somebody new if you had left um, a very toxic relationship to where that person was one-sided and always using you. You're going to be meeting somebody new. I don't know how that's going to go, but you're going to be meeting somebody new. <laughs> From that point, if you need a personal reading, please consult me. It has been 12 minutes. Much love. Thank you so much for joining me. Blessed be.